Nicotine and tobacco use is the single most important risk factor to address because nicotine itself will um, constrict arteries and create a reduced blood flow into those arteries and in your heart, that blood flow then doesn't get into the heart muscle. It also changes the inner lining of the heart blood vessels, which increases the risk of plaque formation, which is um, a conglomeration of cells and kind of gunk on the inside walls of arteries that also further restricts blood flow. So the end result is less blood gets where it needs to go. It increases the risk of a heart attack and in your brain, it increases the risk of stroke and it also increases cancer risk as we probably have heard. If somebody quits smoking within one year, their heart and lungs have returned to pretty much their normal state as long as long-term damage has not already been done. Within 10 years of tobacco cessation, some of that damage can be reversed. It totally depends on the person, it's very individual, but it is important to quit no matter how long you have smoked. It could be one month, it could be one year, it could be 10 years, 30 years. The benefits of quitting smoking are going to be realized in improved health, an improved risk factor profile for many diseases, including reduced cancer risk. So tobacco cessation is the single most important risk factor to address. If people smoke, it's important to stop.